I got a file in the other day from a customer who needed a little help cleaning it up. So I'm going to bring this file into uh, Sign Wizard and um, show you what I did to get it cleaned up. It was an EPS file that came out of uh, Corel Draw or something like that. The first thing I want to do is bring it in into uh, the Sign Wizard program. And I'm going to click the colors off so I can actually see what it is. And as, as you can see, there's a raceway, there's there's drain, uh, there's a, a mounting holes, secondary voltage holes. Um, so the first thing we need to do is see whether it's a Bezier file or not. I'm going to click on the, the node button, select the letter. And I see these little handlebars here. These things pop up around corners. <clears throat> um, so that tells me it's a Bezier file. I'm going to hit the backspace button, return that. Um, okay, so what I want to do with this, let me dump this function. I want to go ahead and grab everything. I want to make sure that it is um, all combined, so I'm, I'm changing this all at the, the same time. And I need to convert uh, Bezier's uh, to arcs. So I'm going to go up here to this uh, tool uh, button here, um, collect uh, Bezier's to arcs. And then let's see what our control points look like. There's a lot of them. So what I need to do is uh, reduce this. And my goal with this is to create a master file, something that I can keep, something that I can run in the router, and then the channel letter equipment. Um, so I need to go ahead and um, uh, reduce the control points. I'm going to come here to uh, optimizing vectors. Um, and as you can see up top here, there'll, there'll be a screen that pops up. There we go. Um, I, I keep my uh, maximum deviation at 50, my smooth factor at 22, uh, and then I can go ahead and press done. Um, that allows the, um, uh, uh, the smooth factor to, to stay. Um, so let's take a look at the control points now. As you can see, they're drastically reduced. So what I need to do is actually they're too far reduced for the channel letter equipment. So I'm going to add some back in, which I can come back up here to my toolbar. Um, tools, limit arc length, we'll press that. This stays at 60. That's a great number to, to leave it at. Um, now, as you can see here, it's going to add 279 more control points to um, help smooth things out. As you can see, some popped up over here. It, it fills them in um, so that we don't have any problems with the, the uh, channel letter equipment. Uh, what I'm doing on this, let me just delete the, or, or back out of this. There's This red line represents a vinyl that's applied to the plastic face. The blue line is the metal. Uh, you can see the raceway. You can see the holes. I'm kind of going over the whole uh, outline of everything to make sure that uh, right in here. Okay. So what happened here through my inline, uh, through my uh, cl tool cleanup, I distorted the vinyl. So I want to bring my control points up. I'm going to add a control point in here, I'm kind of mirror imaging what's going on with there. Um, I'll throw a control point in there. I'm going to move that line up so it's parallel. Now let's take a look at this. This line is a um, straight line. I'm going to hit my backspace button. I'll double click here and I'll create an arc on that line and we'll bring it up. I like bringing it up to let. Uh, so this turns into a plus. Now that means it's a smooth transition from arc to arc, and it looks pretty good there. Uh, this here is some uh, uh, garbage on the um, on the way they designed their raceway. So let me continue checking the the vinyl part of it. Um, so far it looks good. Here's a, uh, another E. Let's do the same thing with this.
Okay. Um, everything looks looks pretty good. Okay, let me dump this function. And now what I want to do is save this. This is my master file. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export. I'm going to save it with polylines and arcs. Uh, this job was... Uh, Sketchers. Um, master file and we'll export that so now every time that I come back this is what I'm going to go off of when I um, put an outline around it for my tool pathing on my router table uh, when I do my outline for my tool pathing for my channel letter equipment um, so the next step would be let's get it ready to uh, to cut on the router table um, I gotta break this into to different lines, and so what I'm gonna do is uh, go to a range. Uh, let me drag a box around it and group it. I gotta go to a range. I gotta go to break into loops. Um, I gotta get rid of this uh, this raceway. Um, uh, see, that's how they put it. They made it out of straight lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete. Get rid of the raceway. I like dragging it away first to make sure that I am grabbing only the raceway part. Okay, raceway's gone. Um, let's get rid of the vinyl. That would be all the inside. And I'm making sure that I'm not dragging any of these, you know, these. Uh, uh, circles away. The circles are my mounting and, and um, secondary voltage. So let's Okay, that takes care of that. Now what I need to do is take this letter here and, and um, separate it a little bit from this letter. And we'll... Okay, so what happened when I did that? If you've seen that, I, I reached over. I can't just grab the S. I'm, I'm ending up grabbing these two circles. I want to just take it and see how that grabs it. So I can hit my backspace bar to bring those circles back into the K. I'm going to go up to Arrange, and I'm going to go to Ungroup, and I'm going to click on the one circle. I'm going to sh hold Shift, click on the second one, and i got to grab something over here so that those circles stay with the K. Now I can come in here and drag a box around it, and I have my, my circles, my... Uh, uh, installation uh, uh, mounting holes with my S. Uh, I'm going to go up here while I got it grouped and I'm going to combine it. Uh, that's the uh, router's going to want to see these circles uh, as red so it cuts on the inside. Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to end up grabbing these two also. Okay, so I hit backspace to put them back. We'll go to arrange ungroup. Remember to hold the shift button. Okay. And I'm going to combine it. And I got to go through the whole the whole job like that. I know I just grabbed those, so I'm just going to grab up here and go to ungroup.
push the shift button. That's a little time consuming, but once you get it all ungrouped, you're in good shape. I think this one I can... I don't see any... Okay, so there was no holes in the R. Okay, so now this is all combined. I can take any one of these letters and set it in my in my um, sheet that I want to cut, and I don't have to worry about moving those holes. They will match back up with the uh, with the um, with the drain hole. I, I'm sorry, they'll match up. Uh, let me hit backspace on that with the raceway. Okay, so now this one is ready to export out to my toolpathing program for the router table. So I can go ahead and um, export this. And I'm going to call this uh, a router file. And I can go out to there. Okay, now the next step would be to um, get rid of the holes and put an 030 outline around it to take it to the channel letter equipment. Uh, the first thing I got to do is uh, I got to break, uh, break into loops so I can um, start working on getting the holes out of there. If you remember, I combined every letter individually, so I'm going to have to break into loops individually, and you see how that turned blue. So now they are separated from the, uh, the letter. Okay, now it's ready to to uh, um, put an outline around it and send it to the channel letter equipment. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and combine all this again because I need to set the direction for the channel letter equipment. Um, we're going to go grab everything and then go to uh, arrange and combine. You'll see the inside of that R turned red. Um, and now I'm ready to um, go ahead and put an outline around it. So I'm going to go up to Tools. I'm going to go to Inline Outline. I'm going to put a .03 outline around the letter. I'm going to make sure that this is on square corners. All this stuff up here I don't uh, care about. The only one I'm concerned about is my, my outline. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and press uh, Done. And then now we're ready to export this. I can go ahead and take a look at the control points again. Um, we, we could throw, um, I'd like to see a little control point in there and maybe in there. Let's see what um, the limit arc length does. Now this won't change the shape at all, but I want to look at, at this area right in here. Yeah, it says 11 uh, uh, control points it's going to add. 
Yeah, it popped one up right in there. That doesn't move the shape when you're adding, when you go to tools and, and uh, limit arc, arc length, it doesn't distort the shape on you. It's only when you're reducing the control points, that's where you get your shape uh, can get distorted. Another thing I'd like to do while I'm in here, get, before I send it out there, I want to move the uh, start and stop positions around. This, um, this big control point is the starting spot for the uh, channel letter equipment. Now, if you don't like, or let's say you don't have one that's in the corner, you can go ahead and, and add a control point and then go ahead and move it around, um, whatever, you, whatever you like to do. If they're in the, if you got them in a the corner, you go for it. Um, just leave them in the corner. Uh, some people like to put them like right in there. You know this, this. Uh, it's a personal preference thing. Uh, this big letter here, uh, you can actually split this in two. Uh, you'll do that out on the Fusion machine, the Fusion uh, uh, channel letter machine. Uh, so I'm not concerned about doing it right now. Uh, what I am concerned about is kind of just looking at my control points. If I see a cluster of control points, I like to zoom in there, make sure that everything looks um, uh, nice and smooth. Um, and everything looks pretty good. This is a fairly clean artwork here. Uh, yeah, I think you're, you're going to be okay with this. So let's go ahead and uh, send this out to the, the Fusion uh, Channel Letter Equipment. And I'm going to export that. And I'm going to keep it with the, the polylines and arcs. And I'm going to call this... Um, uh, fusion uh, that's the uh, that's the machine that it's going to go to and we're going to export that and that's pretty much it on the uh, artwork but the key thing is is once you get a file in that has wherever it came from you need to make a master file you need to clean up the artwork and save it as a master file and then moving forward routering channel letter equipment you're working off of a clean master file. Alrighty, that's it for now.